Well, hello there, Charms Design, Captain of the Steers, and got myself a brew. Look, I'm wearing some Good at Game merch, people. If you haven't heard of Good at Game, he does a lot of um, PlayStation VR sort of gaming, as well as others. He does flat mode as well, but he does do No Man's Sky. It's well worth checking out. Heck yes, he is. I'll put a link inside of the video description. Anyway, what am I doing today? I, today, am inside of No Man's Sky, and I'm hunting for treasure yet again. So people have been hitting me up with screenshots and giving me comments and all sorts of helpful sorts of urges in the right direction of how I can get some more treasure. So I think I found a system inside of game where there are sort of like, I know, some uh, buried technologies on planet. So yes, I've been digging up bones, but people said you want to pick up the technologies on planets as well, because that works too. So yeah, I think it's this, is it this little green planet over here that's got the technologies on? It's a small planet anyway. Yes, salvageable scrap. So I'm heading there. Now, if you want to come here as well, people in the view of us, let me just put up the coordinates on the screen there for you. There you go in the bottom left hand corner. There we are. Lovely jubbly. Hope you can see those fine. Yeah, and I'm heading down to that actual planet now. I'm going to be digging up some salvageable scrap. I'm going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of drink of tea while I'm heading down there. Very nice. Yeah, well, the Rancor monster is over there. It's pretty cool, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a little guy in his mouth at the moment. There we go. There's a little guy from freaking Dino Riders. Yeah. Thank you, Koki. Righto. Oh, I'm nearly at the planet. I'm about to jump back over into game, but I? There we go. Boom. Straight back over into game. Lovely jobs. And let's head on down to the actual planet surface, people. And let's see if we can start finding some of those technologies to be digging it up out of the ground. Yep, okay, right, here we are. And spin us around. I'm just going to land anywhere, because, you know, this technology could be pretty much buried anywhere anyway. I do kind of like to land places where there might be a, a landing pad, you know, like a trading post or a miner settlement, something like that, because then you, you don't have to use your launch thrust for fuel and all that sort of shenanigans. Anyway, let's get out of the old ship. Pow! And let's have a scan around. Let's see if we can find this lovely sort of stuffage. Buried technology module. No, but that's not a yellow one. It's white, isn't it? Yeah. The ones that we want are the yellow ones. Like that. That one there. That's what we want. Salvaged Cantana. Let's go over there and let's go do this. Now, in previous updates, I'm fairly sure that when you started digging these things up, corrupted sentinels came at you. Now, corrupted sentinels, I think, are something that kind of just have fallen by the wayside and have been forgotten about. Because Hello Games has put in a lot of love and care and attention into the regular sentinels. But why corrupted sentinels? Why are sentinels becoming corrupted? There's nothing in the lore about it. And there's nothing that sort of explains their existence. Are they against the normal sentinels? Why are they a thing? I'm hoping that that gets expanded upon at some point in time. I mean, I really love all the gunk that comes out of them and all the sorts of smoke effects and all sorts of other sorts of shenanigans. So it would be interesting, wouldn't it? They're, they're, surely there could be some lore that they could sort of staple onto that one to make it really alluring and interesting to go into. Anyhow, here we are. Oh, it's sticking out the bloody ground. I can blink and see it. I don't even need to dig that up. All right, cool. Well, there we are. We've got ourselves some salvage it looks like some sort of dodgy satellite or something doesn't it and you see these canisters that are on this you see these canisters here with this sort of flashing error message you can see this flashing error message on derelict freighters and you can also see it inside of the nexus there's a console there there's also an exotic planet that has that on there too it's really really freaking weird part of me thinks that there's some sort of internal game warning. In fact, I did a video called, uh, Is This a Warning? And what's it warning us of? And I did a whole speculation piece of it. I did that freaking ages ago. Look, here comes the here comes the Corrupted Sentinels in a moment. I'm just going to carry on zapping this for now. And uh, hopefully... Oh, look, I'm getting shot by a Corrupted Sentinel. Stop shooting me, you Corrupted Git Bag. I'll show you him in a second. I'll go into camera mode. There you go. I'll, sh I'll show you him now. Oh, okay. I've got a little menu pop-up. Camera mode. Boom. Oh, we've got two of them turn up. Look how different they look to the previous Sentinels and the normal Sentinels. They look proper evil, don't they, these things? You know that new ship that we've got, the Utopia Speeder? It almost looks like it's made out of the same sort of parts as we've got on our Utopia Speeder, doesn't it? You know, very gunmetal grey and angry looking. Yeah, very similar, in fact. Anyway, let's um, let's get rid of these guys. Take that, you little git bag. Yes, in the freaking face. Yeah, kaboom. 
They still do those shields that they summon up that look like triforces. Take that, you freaking get bag. Yes, I turned you into a beer cag. Yeah, like freaking Harry Potter with my wizardry. Take this, you. Yeah. Yeah, run. Run away. Okay, I'll hit him with a, a grenade, maybe. Oh, I've, I've wrong button. Boom, gotcha. Oh, there's another one. Uh, I've run out of grenades. Okay, fine. I'm just going to have to finish you off with my pea shooter bullet gun. Take that, you. Pow! And you get the normal Pognium. You don't get anything new for killing these guys. Now, I've already got the treasure for taking out that thing. What was that What was that treasure I got? Why am I in here? Yes, I have to go into my Wonders catalogue. Oh, yes, we've got it! We've got it! So thank you very much, people, for your hints and tips out there inside of the view of us. You know what that means, people, don't you? Heck yes, it's time for me to have a little mini celebration with my harmonica. It's out of the box. Congratulations, me, and thank you, you, inside of the Viewerverse, for bringing that to my attention. So another thing they said was try going into the water. Go to underwater relics and get your treasures from there, and also go aboard a derelict freighter and do a derelict freighter run, which I'm definitely going to have to do, but we just got this one from inside of some salvage technologies. Heck yes, we did. So that's pretty darn freaking epic and cool, isn't it? Yes, it is. Righto. Well, um, lovely job. And I've given the coordinates for this. This is all good. I can head back to my ship. You know what? I can head back up to that station. I can create a save by jumping in and out of my ship. I can pick up one of those um, distress beacony things to call in a freighter, a derelict freighter, and I can do that next episode. Well, my ship's a little bit of a walk away. You know what? I can't be freaking arsed. Just bring it to me. Okay, cool, yeah. Lovely jobs. Take off, and I'll head on up to the station. I'll throw that into a save. And yeah, we've got ourselves an extra treasure, people. In fact, I can just jump out of my ship and, and stuff here, right on the planet. And I can say goodbye to you guys here. I can let you get on with your day, and I can get on with drinking my tea. Heck, yes, I can. But I'm quite enjoying becoming a space treasure hunter. It's given me something to do inside of No Man's Sky. It definitely has. So yeah, if you haven't done this at home... Maybe look at your, your little um, catalogue there. Go to your Wonders catalogue. Try and populate it out with stuff. It's actually been fairly entertaining for myself. I've also picked up another game called A Spaceborn 2. I now have a joypad that works with it, and I'm hoping to bring that to my channel as well. So keep an eye, eye peeper out for that, if that sounds interesting to you. It's a little bit like No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous, and sort of a Mass Effect combined. It's almost like a maybe a cut-down version of Starfield, dare I say. No. It's getting me into the whole hype and excitement for the old Starfield, put it that way. Anyway, people, that's enough. I'm going to go drink this. Have a good day, and uh, or weekend, or whenever you're watching this, because I'm actually recording this on a Friday. It'll be interesting to see when you guys get to see this. I think it's probably going to be about Sunday now. I've got a couple of videos lined up for the In The View of Us. Anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.